here we are, another very, 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 very quick installment with the man himself. Ding. It's me, <laughs> I'm back. I've got a complaint to make. This here, which I've been wearing to ward off evil eye and stop me getting COVID, doesn't work, Mark, because I've just had COVID. <laughs> <laughs> it was lovely, Mark, I really enjoyed it. You're your kid, yeah. um, now, uh, I'm we've had some. Kid. We've had a bit of bit of progress on it. So Mark did his lovely little clip where he moaned about me leaving sawdust inside the canoe, uh, which oh, is true. I did, Mark. Yes, did. It's yes, very true, very true. But uh, it's all cleaned up now. It's all functionally ready. There is a bit more I want to do, Mark. I'd like to do a bit more paint on the outside, but I'll use it first, play with it, see if I'm happy with it. So but the main change is the seat. I've got the seats done. So I've gone for that webbing, and you can see on the back there. What I've done is just woven it through stapled it in here um, it's a bit of a fiddle actually all these need heat sealing otherwise they fray very easily so a little bit of tension on these little stick to create some false tension in a pneumatic stapler to thump the staples in there i did look for stainless staples mark and um, hard to find really? i've had to do a mild, mild steel ones so hopefully they won't rust i'll put a dot of varnish on the back if they're yeah. looking a bit ginger and, and then these sit these sit in here Pop in there. I will put a screw in there, just a little screw, just to hold it so that it sort of prevent a little bit of flexing that way, but that's effectively done. Nice and tight, Mark. <laughs> I think I love do you like it? it? Do you like it? Do no, I won't say it. I won't say it. Yeah, no. um, yeah, there we are. That's done, and the rest of it's finished. I really am ready to float the thing, Mark. I've got all the little bits from here finished. I'm looking for, I spent ages looking for some more countersunk hex uh, bolts like those, and I found some. So they're done, Mark. That little cleat, or well, if that's the correct name. Before? Just screw it was. Well, they had two, you see. I had one there, one there, and I couldn't find replacements there. So, 40 minutes in my odd nuts and bolts box last night, and I managed to find another four, so they're back in. So, all done, Mark. It's all ready to go. I'm making some paddles down the other end at the moment, which will probably um, sure, have, have a brief a... pause and then we'll have a look at it in a minute. They're not bad, actually. But the only other thing I might do is I might swap, because these are interchangeable, to what's called a kneeling thwart. This is a seat to sit on, so you yeah. put your backside on it nice and square there, and you can have your legs out, or if you're feeling bendy, you can fold them underneath. But a kneeling thwart uh, will sit across here, but it's slightly sloped, flat panel, and you always have your legs underneath you. Would so you're kneeling down with your knees, bra knees braced in the side there, and your backside perched on a sloping seat Replacing here. that or going Well, the interchangeable, interchange. depending on what I want to do, because this is all, I mean, I've only ever used things like this. I've never used a kneeling thwart, but my right. mate Paul, who, um, who knows a lot about canoes, far more than I do, says that a kneeling thwart is another option for being, having a bit more control over the boat because you can feel a brace into the sides of the boat with your knees a bit more. And uh, so that's what I'm doing. Anyway, yeah, so ne next time I see you, it's probably going to be in another workshop any second now, looking at uh, paddles made out of old science department benches. We're back. That was you going just. Um, no, this isn't what I made earlier. This is being borrowed uh, for research purposes from my. Good friend Paul, who knows a lot about canoes, he's got a fine collection of paddles. And this one's called Sugar Island, this profile, which is a nice one for flat water. Uh, you, you, can't, you can't pull the thing very quickly through the water, but you've got lots of control, you get a lot of force in with this paddle here. And so you can see this is made out of lots of different timbers in layers here and, and shaped beautifully. So effectively, I'm going to make a copy of that using this mahogany we have here. Now this is reclaimed mahogany from the science department benches when they had a big refit next door. There was meters and meters of this beautiful mahogany. Certainly don't make benches like they used to do them up. No. So what I've done is I've sort of book matched them, I suppose you'd call it. So I've got three stripes of uh, reclaimed timber. You can see here, Mark, there's a little bit of a hole, you see. So there are some imperfections here and there and screw holes that are filled in here and so on. But it's reclaimed wood, isn't it? So this is the blank. It'll get shaped, planed down and tapered. There'll be a lot of weight to be removed off it. And then I'm going to make a, a pair. One, one for regular use and obviously a spare one there. And I'd love to make a slightly shorter one for my uh, fiance now, Mark. I'm engaged oh, to you're engaged. I didn't know that. Yes. Congratulations. I'm mad enough. Congratulations on that. That's nice. <laughs> There we are. Yeah, anyway, that's where we are, Mark. So there'll be some progress on these over the next day or two, and uh, we'll make another I'll clip of that one. Keep you posted, yeah, if you want it, and then we'll, I'll come and film it. Brilliant. All the rest. And then we'll buy a horse pass that doesn't work. No. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, there we go. Yeah, Mark, Mark take... are you sure? Are you sure? No, First we don't want it. No. First person makes a sensible offer, it's theirs. Yes. I've not had it yet, and I All don't right. want that to, because now I'll probably catch it. Well, I have cleaned it. Now, um, here we are, Mark. Made a little bit of progress in the last hour. I cut the blanks out, and also I, I put some lumps on either side of there. They're glued on there using the uh, this uh, 
Gorilla Glue, fantastic stuff. Sets so quick, you see, you can work on it very quickly, about an hour and you're ready to go. So I've roughed it out. The square box of shape has been cut to that and these blocks are on the other end. And then the next step is this one here where I've started planing, putting a slope on either side of there, rounding the edge so the blade is nearly there at that end there. And you can, if you leave that there, Mark, I'll spin this round and I'm shaping the little hand piece at the other end there. Ah. So you can see how that's coming together, Mark. Get in there. So how did you plane that again? Did you put it through the planer? Plane the thickness, sir. Well, on the top, the jointer. The jointer on the top where the ah, blade's exposed. Right. What you do is you start it off at an angle by putting a little block under here, which leaves it at an angle, and you, you pass a couple of passes like that. You can take the block away, and then you've got to hold it very carefully because there's a hell of a blade whizzing around yeah. there. And then skim it over, skim it over, and then you get that taper, that taper that's on there, you see. Brilliant. And then I've hand finished using the plane to plane down in that direction there, only a little bit, more at the top here than at the end there, just to take a bit of weight out of it where you don't what need what it. What do you coat these with? Uh, oh, good Maybe. question. I will oil them first with a, with a Danish oil and then varnish them like the other one. I, I did think about doing the epoxy resin. I might epoxy resin them. I don't know. I don't know if I've got enough epoxy resin left. But one thing I will do, if regardless of whether I varnish or epoxy them, I will put a piece of epoxy, that tape that I used to join the yeah. edges of the boat, I will put a wrap around there because you know what it's like when you're pushing off the side and shoving and poking, mm -hmm. this bit there runs a the risk of splitting. So if I, if I encase the end of that with a bit of glass fibre tape, uh, just the end there, uh, and then Brilliant. that lot. So that done that. Right, I'm not going to end it yet, because knowing him, <laughs> he will get these done when near by the end of the day. So we'll come back. If he has, it's a bonus. If he hasn't, it doesn't They'll matter. They'll be all done, Mark, definitely. There we are. All right. All right. right catch you a bit. Bye. Right. Right, so how's you get on? Well, Mark, have you ever seen me without my apron? I feel no, naked. wow. You're damn sexy. Dusty, because I've been sanding, Mark. <laughs> look I've, hot, uh, you I've look done hot. a lot more forming and shaping on these paddles here. I've, I've taken, I probably reckon it's half the weight of when you saw them as the original blanks. All I've right. taken so much off it. Taken weight off here, I've sanded it, planed it. I'm quite happy with the paddle blade part there. This bit's to be done here, but at the end here, Mark, I've uh, shaped it oh, here so that you can, you, can, you can fit your hand into that so your hand goes round there. A nice little angle there, soft. Get that again, do it again. I was missing it. What's yeah. that, Mark? What's that? Oh, fingers oh, rain. Rain. Look thumb, at that. Mark. There we are. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, what can I say, Mark? You I can't say it. The excitement. <laughs> um, so there we are. That's what we've got to do. So I'll be, I'll be uh, planing these, the spoke shave, and then sanding. And I might even, Mark, I've had an idea. Yeah. You know, I just can't leave things alone. You can't. I'm going to hand carve a Celtic knot pattern in the top of it there. A little overlap, sort of slightly for all Celtic pattern just there. Just at the top? Yeah, just at the top there, Mark. On both or just yours? No, I'll start with one and see how bored I get. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I'll do there, yeah. So this, this, is, uh, this is paddle number one. And I've decided uh, I'll call that one paddle number two. Oh. And um, and uh, I'll make a slightly shorter one for uh, for Karen. For Karen. Yeah, she deserves a shorter one. I was talking with an overlay to paddle away. I'm glad I waited, that's good. Yeah, yeah, that's nice, impressive. All the best. Look at it. Yeah. Take care, and we'll see you all it's in the next video. It's only weekend coming, Mark. I know. I'm looking forward to it. Bye. Bye.